All right, we're going to do a new type of container, um, a, a switched stack container. I've made the area larger, uh, and uh, I, what I've done is I've gone into the original fixed here, and under common, I've increased its width and um, height request. That's how everything got bigger. The parent window does, is kind of an agnostic as to size. Um, the, the child fixed grid or fixed container is the one that's determining it. All right, what I want to do is I want to go to containers, and I want to pull out GTK stack. Now, this gets uh, confusing. I should have dragged it, but I didn't. I accidentally clicked on it. But there it is, GTK stack. It's in there. Uh, in terms of packing, uh, let's put it, uh, I've been using position 10 for the start, and let's make it, whoops. Um, yeah, that's probably okay. We're going to put something on top of it, so I need some room. In terms of uh, height and width, I want to make the width request somewhat larger. It's up to you. I'm just making it real big here. And I am going to do the height. There goes the height. So this is the stack itself. Stack's got nothing in it. We should give it a name. I'm going to call it STK1. All right. Um, number of pages. How many independent pages will be in the stack? One, two, three. I'll say four. It's going to be four independent pages. There's nothing in there at the moment. But all right, now I want to add a control device, which is GTK Switcher. And I'm going to, they usually go above, so I'll put it up there. And the GTK Switcher, and I'm going to call it SW1, lack of anything more creative. And uh, its position. Um, well, first of all, let's um, uh, let let it. Let, first of all, let's connect it to the stack. Otherwise, if I if I reduce its size, it'll disappear because it's not connected to anything. Okay, if I go here in general and I click on stack, the stack to which the switcher is attached, you'll see there's of course STK one, and I say okay, bingo, up pop for page uh, switcher thingies. Um, and when I go to common over here, I can uh, do away with the width and height request, and they'll drop back to the minimum necessary to hold the text. And I suppose for neatness, I should probably raise them up. That's why I needed space up above. You can put them anywhere you want, but these are tabs across the top. And you can have as many as you want. All right, the thing is now we have, um, there's a page zero. And the, uh, let's see, uh, there's nothing in the page zero. I need to put a container in page zero. So I will put a container in page zero, a fixed. All right. Um, and I don't know. I suppose it can have um, have an ID. Um, don't know what to call it. Um, um, STK uh, FXD1, something like that. Uh, there's its name. There's the tab name up here. We could call it. Uh, 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 tab one for want of something else, whatever whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, that's where you can change the names, in other words. Once I get the fixed into the page, I can change the name of the tab. Prior to that, I can't until I put that, that um, let's capitalize T, all right, something like that, Any, anything you want. Okay, so I have a, a, a fixed container for, now for page, um, now the question is to get to page two. The first click here took me down on the left-hand side to the switcher. I don't want to be in the switcher. I want to be in the stack for page two. Click it again, and you see that the fixed came up, but I'm still on the switcher. Um, so move yourself back to the stack, all right? You are in page one of the stack. You'll notice it, it, it's, it, it, it doesn't have a fixed grid in it, whereas the other fixed grid is down here. So I go back up here, and I drag a fixed into it, and I suppose uh, there's where you could give it a name up here. I'm not going to change the names anymore. Um, again, I don't know if you really need a name here, but um, I don't think you're manip going to manipulate this too much from the program level, but because they're going to be um, going to be manipulated by uh, clicks as a rule. But uh, let's see, um, STK FXD2, something like that. I probably won't put any more in like that. Uh, so it's ready to go. Um, page two takes me to the switcher. Second click takes me back to the uh, shows of any uh, of the page, but I need to get to the stack.
before I can do anything. And again, I'm going to drag down a GTK fixed into it. And uh, that's as far as I'm going to go. Okay. Now you see I've got two. Um, I've got two fixed in there. Well, I didn't give it a name. Let's make it consistent. Um, it's TK FXD3. That way they're all going to look alike. Um, now I click page three. Click it again. Go back to stack. It's 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 set up to trick you. It's set up so that it so that one wrong mouse click will blow everything up. So watch it. Um, believe me, it's done it several times to me. It's it, it's not friendly at this point. Okay, so I've got a page three stack, and I should probably give it a name so it's consistent. Okay, F X D um, four. All right. And now it's got a name. So what I've got is a stack with four pages. A stack with four pages. I'm going to save it at this point. Um, just in uh, this is where I usually get into a mess. I can I, I can actually cut and paste some of these things into it. Um, at the let's try just the check button. All right. This is not desirable. You should not have done this, but if it, you can. So I, I've got the check button. I'm hitting Control X. Bye bye Control button. Make sure you get the right thing that you're that you're on on the left here, and you're not Control Xing or, or deleting something you didn't want to delete. Now go to Tab One. Um, well, this is the easier way, clicking directly on it because it now is here. So okay, I'm in it, and now I'll do a Control V. You see the check button came in. Check button's got the same name. It seems to be okay, except its size got bigger. And I go back over here and turn off the width requests. All right, um, let me go to this to this to its parent GTK fixed. You'll notice in the uh, you'll notice this guy. Unfortunately, the parent disappears when I click on it. You'll notice it's at zero zero. It's not zero zero relative to the larger world. It's zero zero relative to STK fixed one. So it's uh, they're relative to their position. I'm going to move it a little bit down from the from the top. Generally speaking, it's a good idea to pick even numbers. The systems tend to like even numbers. Um, some some code that ref refuses odd numbers, but I like even numbers as a result. So um, there it is. The check button is in there. Let's go to page two. Well, this is page two here. You can click now on these these fixed and get to the pages. Um, let's try moving the slider. Um, um, well, let's move this guy. It doesn't really matter. Um, make sure you're on the right one. There it is, font. So Control X, and now move to this guy, and then uh, Control V, and it's in there. Now I'm going to hit the hit the uh, size again because it for some for reasons that are unclear, it loses its size information. Um, what I have it at six. All right, so um, there it is inside of page two. Page one. Uh, is still there. There's the tab button for page one. Page two has this in it. Pay, um, well, page zero, one, whatever you want to number them. Um, this is page three in reality. Um, uh, so page three, STK FX three, labeled page two. Let's get rid of that. Um, tab three. Um, and let's call this guy tab. Um, well, I have to get into him. And then call him tab two. All right, try to make the numbering a little more consistent. Um, okay, so I am in. Um, I want to make, make sure again you're in the right one here. Uh, STKFX um, three. You could have called this tab three too. I think it's a little late to start changing names, however. And what could I put down here? I could put my color uh, chooser, color chooser, control X. Now go back down here and uh, do a control V. And the uh, it was already pretty big, um, so I'm just going to leave it um, in, that way. It, it I'm not going to it went it went back to its default sizes. It was actually 40 by 40. Um, I'm going to uh, move it down to position six because it's a little too close to the top for my sensibilities. Um, and then we go to uh, number four, and we're going to change it to tab four. Well, I didn't put a blank in the other one, so I shouldn't put one here. All right. Um, now, what do I want to move down there? Uh, let's uh, 
let's uh, this is a two-parter here um in reality here we've got two different uh, items here uh, it, it, it's the combo box and it's child i'm not i'm not i'm not going to play with that one all right this this switch ambiguous use of the word switch because these things are switches too um all right let's try let's try going for this guy and i'm going to do a control x and i'm going to go down here you could just plain old add stuff to this i'm you know you don't i don't you don't have to rearrange stuff from other places and down here i'll do the control v you see it um, i don't know why it, it 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 loses its uh its size information but it does um uh, it's easy enough to fix of course so that's something in tab four um and you know i could put uh i could put things down here if i you know if there's things i wanted to put down here i could put an image or i could put a label in here um and now there is a label in tab four i'll just leave it there because you'll see it later on um and in terms of packing it's everything was at zero uh, let's try to keep it at, a, at zero and uh, all right Let's see what happens if I save it and I go ahead and run it. There we are. Tab one, you're seeing a checkbox, a check button as predicted. Tab two, you're seeing the um, the uh, font selector. There's the font selector. Okay. Tab three, you're seeing the color selector. Um, don't want to really do it. And tab four, you're seeing two things: the label and the on-off switch. You know these guys are active up there. So they're so following it. Now I suppose we could have put some nice little grid around here. I didn't, but um, but nonetheless, there we have um, switching. Now in terms of isn't that wonderful? Just be careful when you're doing it. One wrong mouse click, and the entire thing will blow up. It it is designed to be lurking there, waiting for you to make a mistake. And as soon as it does, it'll take advantage of it. But uh, yeah, there's ways of putting a, a grid around it and so forth. So I've got the um, the switcher here and um there's the stack that's what the stack looks like there's plenty of room in here you could have dragged and dropped anything into it there was also here the question of whether um someplace in here whether uh, whether it was a uh, oh this tr this transitions when you switch pages it's got all sorts of sliding and fading and uh, neat stuff like that it's all built in i don't think i've got enough in there for uh, let's try slide left and uh save it see what it looks like um not really tried these but um okay um yeah see it works not neat um yeah you know, every time i say that's neat it's something usually breaks but um you know how that works uh so yeah there we there we are there is a question of of um of where these guys go i'm on the i'm on the stack is whether they're going to go left and um whether they're going to go across the to top or whether it's going to be across the bottom and i don't see it at the moment uh, maybe it's too late maybe it lost um maybe it lost that that information uh when, once i fixed it um, oh no it's these guys these this is the guy um the um switcher is the one that actually is um uh, that's the switcher and um is it going uh no that's the actual switch i'm looking for the switcher thank you horizontal or vertical uh, it's horizontal if i made it vertical it could go down the side which obviously looks obviously looks a mess right now but you could have tabs down the side and you can have the rest of the thing offset from it um and don't forget um you could shift the entire in, uh, in the entire uh, uh, g stack to the right so there'd be plenty of rooms and you've seen uh, things like this where there'll be a bunch of tabs down the side when you click on one you get a display in the center or vice versa when you see the tabs across the top so it's it's uh, like I said, it's kind of tricky, but once you've got it, you've got a lot of power here um, to lay out your screen as you see fit. Um, so I'll just leave it there. We'll try to do some more details on it. Um, I've gotten lucky; it hasn't blown up, so I'm going to quit right here.